Morning guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Pike and Walleye Hunters. Um, didn't get out fishing yesterday, uh, my friend in uh, Red Deer there, um, uh, he said he had to work there in the morning, so I'll be probably heading to that spot with him another time this week, so stay tuned for that episode. Um, we're heading out to um, Newell County again, um, this lake holds a lot of whitefish. It's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning takes two hours to drive there so I want to get a good start on the road here I'm gonna start uh, stop and get a coffee and a couple of uh, um, like sausage uh, sandwiches there it's like my my uh, my road food um, going out to a lake there when I'm getting out early in the morning well more when I was white fishing but um, anyways I'm gonna try kind of the spillway by this reservoir um, there's another lake that kind of connects to it that, that holds a lot of whitefish too. So we're going to try a couple spots. Plus I got all my pike gear so if nothing happens after a bit. I, I don't know what I'll do. But anyways, time's a-wasting. Uh, we got to get there before the sun comes up is what my friend tells me. Um, I got some emails from some subscribers that, uh, um, that uh, fish these reservoirs quite a bit. And they said you got to go early. So I don't know if I'll get anything, but, uh, you know, just kind of doing the, um, the research I've been doing on the internet, they, they said that, uh, they dumped over a quarter of a million whitefish into this reservoir, um, something like a decade ago. So I don't think those fish just disappeared and they can get pretty big. So I'd like to, uh, get out there and see what happens. So let's get on the road, get our lines in the water and, uh, see what happens. Hey guys, uh, just checking in, uh, the sun's just coming up here, and I uh, got some breakfast in me, and uh, coffee, so it's good, it's kind of nice, nobody on the highway here to get in my way, so that's always nice, so I'm trying to haul a little bit of ass here to get there a bit early as it's kind of getting up, because I hear these things like to bite, but uh, game plan is... Um, when I get there, I'm going to kind of uh, look to see if uh, maybe they're jumping or kind of an area where um, I can see them. But um, I remember about five, six years ago, I was at Badger Lake. Um, I think this was just during a spawn or something, but there was, uh, you know, like this whole blitz of whitefish just jumping everywhere and there were people lined up on the shore trying to catch it. It was a huge blitz. I, I'd never seen anything like it and I used to go to Badger quite a bit in the summertime when I first started fishing but um, that's going to kind of be my game plan. I'm going to use a uh, just a slip bobber and a wire worm. I'm going to throw it out there um, you know, see if anything happens. There's another lake that's kind of close by so if I don't get any bites in this one particular area, what I'm going to do is circle around and maybe see if I can get in on that one area. So that's kind of the game plan. But yeah, it's 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 a beautiful morning here. Uh, red for uh, you know there was no rain or anything like that. Um, there there is some isolated uh, thunderstorms, so that's kind of good. I'm looking at the clouds here, and there's not really uh, going to be any. Oh, there's some thunder lightning flash it just kind of went off to the left of me there but uh yeah no it uh it's looking it's looking like a beautiful morning here so like i said that's going to be my game plan i um i uh remember catching whitefish when i was a kid out in um actually dc outdoors if you're watching this maybe you remember this but uh back when wabaman lake was kind of like a primary fishery in alberta um back then it was like you would go to Seba Beach and the white fish in there were huge. I remember um, fishing for them with my grandpa you know, just off Seba Beach and a couple feet of water and they were just tanks back then but it seems like white fish are a um, just passing Crawling Valley uh, campground and um, yeah they are an underfished fish that is just really really not look for in Alberta. I've maybe seen a total of about a dozen videos. Guys catching whitefish. Most of them are in a boat other than that vlogger John there. He uh, seems like he does pretty well. You know, he wants to 
kind of keep his location secret, and that's cool. Uh, shout out to him. He's a pretty good fisherman, so I don't know if he watches my channel. But yeah, anyways, uh, shout out to uh, Big Fish there. Uh, thank you for your recent uh, kind words on my channel there. I'm glad he's another uh, real good fisherman uh, out by uh, Strathmore there. He likes to fish stuff like that so it's always cool when you meet a fellow southern alberta brother who likes to fish for pike and walleye you guys check out his channel he catches lots of big pike and stuff and he's he's a pretty good fisherman so and uh thank you for the recent uh um, wanting to give that uh, hoodie and shirt there want to stop in strathmore there and get a chance to pick that up so that was very nice of him so you guys Check out his channel if you like pike fishing and uh, walleye fishing. He, uh, he does pretty good for himself. So, uh, that being said, I'm just kind of passing Bassano here. And, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's actually another lake on my list I want to try for uh, whitefish. As I hear, there's a ton of whitefish in Crawling Valley Reservoir. So... What my plan is, is uh, one of these days in the summer, I want to get out there, uh, and I should be stopping there actually now, because this is usually when they're feeding, and um, just look for a school of fish jumping or something, that's kind of all I'm going on, but most of the people you'll see on YouTube catching whitefish are either in a boat, or they don't say anything and they're at a spot, and one of the reasons that is, is because they don't want to give their spot away. Me personally, I don't care. I'm not mentioning the lake really, but it is kind of in the area. So the only general knowledge I'm basically going on is um, read up on the the, the the Fisheries Act on how many fish are stocked into the uh, reservoir. Most of them are, are plugged with whitefish. I think one of the things that most fishermen, a lot of people out there struggle with is they, um, they don't... get up early for them or look for them or anything. I have a friend out by Red Deer who does very well, gets his limit just about every day. And, um, it's going to be in probably my next episode or next time I head out there with him, we're going to be filming an episode with him. He's actually got a YouTube channel. I just can't remember what it is. So hopefully I can get him on my channel and he can give you guys some pointers. And he's caught a lot of fish around Red Deer. So, uh, Actually, uh, my, uh, my day off, Matt, there, uh, if I get him on the episode, um, it'll be specifically for whitefish, so pay attention. Uh, and you might, uh, might get him on your channel there someday. He's a really good fisherman. He makes his own wire worms and uh, makes his own hooks and stuff like that. He fly fishes, fishes the Red Deer River and everything like that. So, But yeah, so I should be there in about a half an hour hopefully getting in for this prime time but I'm, I got a couple spots I'm going to try so you know, it might be one of those videos where you just see me casting the line into the water there you know, nothing or you might, might catch a fish you never know but that's fishing right so anyways I uh, hope everybody's having a, a good weekend there uh, you know uh, it's supposed to be raining all next week so I wanted to get at least one day and I was going to go yesterday but my buddy uh ended up having to work or something and uh, gas prices are pretty high like he mentioned so um, yeah you gotta save gas you know I try to do uh, I work afternoons so I try to it's, I'm kind of blessed because I can you know one of my one of the fish I want to start fishing for is white fish if I actually get lucky and start catching them I uh, want to start getting up in the morning because I don't work till like 2 30 in the afternoon so I can get up early get out to the lake and I still got quite a bit of time today, so if I'm, you know, I want to stay out where I'm fishing for pike or walleye or whatever, I can do that today if it's not too busy. But anyways, we'll see you guys when we get out to the lake. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning, sun's up. All the uh, um, Asian people are down there fishing. I didn't want to get too close to them, but it's good to see somebody out here. It shows that... Uh, there's probably white fish here, so I'm guessing that's probably the uh, 
primary fishing spot. So, got my bobber just kind of off the thing there, so. I'll uh, kind of do this for a bit. See what happens. Or something. So. Hey, so, uh, just been casting out here for about 20 minutes. Uh, I haven't been getting any bites, but it looks like there's a bunch of people kind of way down there fishing. I haven't been seeing them. I see like eight, nine, ten bobbers in the water, and doesn't seem like anybody's pulling anything in. So I'm gonna try by the canal kind of halfway down the reservoir and see what we get out of there, so. Hey guys, uh, I'm just watching these guys sort of fishing in front of me here. And as you can see, you can see all the, kind of see all the bobbers they got out there. And I uh, haven't seen any of them pulling in fish, so. Uh, but this seems to be the place to come, I guess, I don't know. There, there's that one guy who's kind of jerking his uh, his bobber there. I guess maybe there's a, there's a trick to it or something. But I'm gonna go further down the reservoir where there's this canal that kind of comes out, and uh, I'm gonna see what happens there. But apparently I'm in the right area. But I uh, I wasn't getting any hits. So hey guys, uh, the. Uh... That's pretty much all we can do there. Um, I noticed a few more cars on that rock wall that I was at earlier. And, uh, no dice, so we'll try in here for some, some lights. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, so it was a light time to kind of narrow down. So we'll uh, get the line in the water and see what happens here. Uh, I was just driving, and I just saw a fish jump just over here. So I'm going to go to another spot in a minute, but I figured I would, uh, I don't know if that was a pike or what that was, but I just saw something moving there. And maybe this could be the, this could be the spot here. So I'm just going to jump down into this little area here I know sometimes they like to hide in little crevices like this so but we'll, we'll jump in here and just see what happens so the inlet's just kind of over to the left there actually and before I do that I just have to adjust my I slip bobber a little bit here so it's not going down as far but let's try just giving this a little adjustment and uh, let that go down a little bit deeper but I'm pretty sure that was a fish that I just saw jump over there so maybe they could be hiding in this little area maybe it was
was just a little pike, I'm not too sure, but... something would have jumped up and bit that but I guess not so to uh, that lake I came to last time here that's kind of in the area I tried for uh, pike at that one spot but it, uh, nothing ended up happening there so I think I'm just gonna fish here today and uh, it's about nine in the morning I don't know what time pike bite but starting off with a silver spoon just off this bridge here kind of in this rural area and it's a beautiful morning out here this is probably the earliest in the morning I've ever fished for pike so oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> yeah Might be going into the weeds, guys. Yeah. I might have to. Oh, my soul. I might have to adjust my. I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, he feels big. like he's hooked 
kind of not in a good spot there but well i'll be back in a minute when i when i get him in guys here he is he's a nice sized fish to start the uh oh my goodness i got my hand in his gills there he probably didn't appreciate that but it's a nice sized fish for the morning kind of had a bad hook set there so that's kind of why i turned off the camera i don't see you guys i kind of hooked him right in there but his eyes okay he's good and uh just gonna get him back and away he goes hey guys uh just finished up here at the one lake uh just got the one pike and uh just bite really died right down after that so um yeah overall it was just kind of an exploration day um there were a lot of people um that were kind of lining up so i think i know where to go um, for white fish in the future so i might try and head out back to that spot um oh i don't know maybe this week or next weekend or something but i know there's a couple other lakes when it, it was really windy so it was kind of hard to see like sometimes when a slip bobber sitting there it's kind of hard to see if you're getting up bite or whatever and it didn't look like those other um, um, gentlemen were catching anything from what I saw so um, but yeah I um, it was nice to get out today just gonna head back into town um, grab a bite to eat and probably take a nap since I've been up since three o'clock this morning so thanks for watching my video and the recent subscribers to my channel and uh, Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and if you like it, subscribe, and uh, keep your stick on the ice, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.